there is another tool, apart from brightness and contrast, that will enable us to improve an image quality from brightness perspective. We are talking about the windows of levels. Found pressing Ctrl L or clicking on Image, Adjustment, Levels. This window has input levels, output levels, and the droppers. On the input levels, we can see a little black mountain representing the image. This little mountain is a histogram that is based on the image blacks, whites, and in the between colors. This mountain indicates that there is a huge lack of black and white on this image. It also tells us that the majority of this image is based on the between tones. Thus, if I move the black toward the top edges of the mountain and I do the same with the white color, I will be able to increase the contrast levels. On the brightness and contrast windows, it's only a slide. Using this tool, we do the same by increasing the black and the white separately. Now, I can choose the percentage I want to move the grays. For example, here we have a percentage of about 80% from black to gray and 20% from gray to white. Pure white, if you notice, doesn't get affected. So, I can choose in the between colors image's tendency. Let's slide it a bit to this side and press OK. This is a method to adjust the brightness using levels tools. Another way to do the work on this image using levels is by using the droppers. Ok, I have a black dropper, a grey dropper and a white dropper. If I select the black dropper and then I click on the image's darker areas, the bar begins to balance. And if I select the white dropper and then click on the image's lighter areas, that also give the image some balance. I will then adjust the grey dropper to choose what I want the between tones to be. And this will be another way to go from this image to this image. The interesting thing about this is that we can use these two methods directly on the image layers. In this way, the adjustment does not damage the original image, because right now with the adjustment we're making, if we save and close and then we open it again, we won't be able to undo the adjustment. If you want to make an editable adjustment, you can go to Layers window, where you can see the half circle, we can go to the Adjustment window, and there we can find the Levels adjustment. When I click, the windows appears within the Adjustments window, but it's not necessarily a pop-up window, because it's actually the edition window for the layer level. I'm going to do the same edition as I did before, and I closed the adjustments window. Then I noticed that as this adjustment was made on this layer, if I turn the layer off, I can step back, and if I turn it on, I step forward again. So I can undo any time, but also if I double click, I can edit at any time, so the adjustment is not permanent. One of the main wonders from this editable adjustment, apart from allowing me to do many changes, is that I can make it to work only on one part of the image. If I click on the white part here, corresponding that adjustment layer mask, and I pick the brush on normal mode, and I color with black some part of the image. Whenever I color black, I'm actually removing the adjustment or hidden it. So, if I continue to edit, the addition I make will not affect this part here, and this part is hidden and it cannot be edited. This part remains exactly the same as the original image.